I'll be in the background. Uh huh? You can do it that close if you want. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are currently in the Blue Mountains and I'm really excited because it's the first time I get to explore a bit more of Australia outside of Sydney. And we're going to explore and show you at the same time the best things to do in the area. Yes. So it's just past 7.30 in the morning. We're really pumped to go and explore and the best way to do that is to go for a run. Alright, let's get out. <laughs> special event close by where um, cowboys and cowgirls needed to uh, I'm not sure what they did they, they, they rode horses and tried to maneuver cows in between cones there you go just try <laughs> all right the breakfast was very good people are so nice here as well which is really really exciting and we're on our way for a little hike near the Janolan Capes Welcome to Janolan. We're going to look at some caves, look at some lookouts. It's going to be sick. Can I think of anything else that sounds cooler than that? Probably not. I've never seen that before. <gasps> just really nice to see one, you know? After all this hype about seeing kangaroos, wallabies and all that jazz, we actually get to see one that's alive and not on the side of the road. Oh, welcome to the Elder Cave. It's one of the most upper entrances to the entire cave system. Uh, you do get tour groups that abseil down into here and they can make it all the way to the Grand Arch later on. Let's keep going. Genolan house. It is beautiful. So we're ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll move on. Uh, we'll get up into the into the Chipley Cave and then I'll, I'll start telling you a bit more about the cave and what's happened and where we're going. Oh, I'm getting a bit creepy, isn't it? Oh, well, I mean, like, it's so awesome to sort of get amongst it and sort of share your passion with other people. I'm sure that's really yeah. fulfilling. It, it's, it's so nice to get in there. There's always a chance you, you know, you're going somewhere that nobody else has ever been to. Yeah, exactly. Mm. No, no, it's, it's, uh, it's crystal, it's just forming by evaporation. Yeah. You know? Which fair. cave is your favourite? Well, while I'm in the mm -hmm. Chipley Cave, mm -hmm. I've got to find the Chipley Cave. Oh, yeah. Because oh, wow. if I don't, this time I come in here, the lights won't work properly for me and oh, something will happen. Okay, but, superstition. Yeah, well, the yeah. yeah, caves have got character. Uh -huh. yeah. Alrighty, so one of the facts that you'll probably know about caves is that there is a bit of chemistry to it, but when the water drips from the ceiling down onto the floor, the water itself has small bits of sediment that end up adding up over thousands of years to make stalactites. And on the floor, stalactites because it might hit the ceiling. Stalactites, tight on the ceiling. All right. <laughs> One of the ways that they would prevent themselves from getting lost is by naming certain characteristics of the rock formations. So some of the ones that we saw were Pinocchio. There was Queen Elizabeth, and I think there was Jaws as well. There was a, there was a lot of different names, and there was also the Madonna and Child, which honestly, all of them were spectacular. From what we learned from Grant, our uh, tour guide, we have not been able to discover 
how far down these cave systems go. They have had dive teams that have gone down to, I think it was like 900 and something meters below the level of the water that they got to, still couldn't hit the bottom. So it's just insane how far down these places go. The random parts of this tour in particular was that we bore witness to a proposal, which we ended up becoming the proposal photographers, which was awesome. We've just seen like a lot of kangaroos and I think it's the best day of my life. I can definitely die in peace. And now we are driving on the racetrack and we just see the view of the whole, not maybe the blue, the whole blue mountains, but just Bathurst. It's beautiful. You've got this. There we go. Nailed it. <laughs> it's totally amazing. <laughs> After a huge day walking around, it's now time to eat and I think we're gonna eat some Mexican and batters tonight. Let's see what they have for us. Right, so the Mexican restaurant was fully booked, which is weird. So we've done the safe bet and gone to an Irish pub. But we've ordered nachos. Cheers to eating Mexican at an Irish pub. And we're finishing the evening with a nice thing from Addicts. Is it any good? Oh, it's bloody tasty as hell. Just like I remember. So after the hustle and bustle of yesterday, we've decided to take it a little bit easier. We've slept in this morning, but from a recommendation from a local yesterday, we've come to a place called Mayfield Garden. Now, we were told that the breakfast was phenomenal. Turns out that is going to be the case, but also there's a lot of walking through this massive garden as well. We haven't seen everything yet, but so far it is quite impressive. Um, to be honest, I would totally recommend to go to this place if you are in the area. Just, just because it's, I don't know, for me it's out of another world. <laughs> like it doesn't fit necessarily with the area around it and it's just, yeah, it's magical. But the best part is that there's a maze. There's a maze? Yeah. Let's get lost together, sweetheart. Oh yes. I'm excited, it's my first maze! We've got three options. Well, technically four if we go back to where we came. I'm gonna be a bit. Charlene? Charlene? I didn't know it was going to be that hard. I think we're getting there. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> it's a dead end. Oh shit. Very twisty. We're so close. Cool. Oh. What? Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, we have to go in and then down that way. And oh man, it's gonna be this is already outwitting the full drone. Damn it! I didn't think it was going to be that hard, honestly. We've been in there for how long? It's been like 10 minutes? More? Damn, we've been in the maze for 15 minutes already. <laughs> we have no clue. We were so close and then so far. Very good. Yeah? The line is good. The line is good. <gasps> Yay! Celebratory steps upwards. Nothing a little bit of Height advantage, can't fix. 
So after what felt like many moons of time, we actually made it out alive and together. So the plan for the day was like going to the garden and then going to see the three sisters um, in, the mountains. in the blue mountains and then going for a hike. Turns out he didn't forgot um, his keys in the trunk and locked the car. So uh, yeah, we've been at the garden for like, I don't know, like three hours trying to figure out how to open the car. And we called the, um, how are they called? NR? Amen. The quarter to five and we're on our way to the three sisters. Um, look up. Look, up. Um, look out. Are you right there, sweet? <laughs> seeing the three sisters like we planned just not as we plan you know what I mean like this isn't quite exactly how I wanted to showcase it to Sol I'm freezing my legs off down here I think that it's crazy that there's freaking trees growing on that. Nature <laughs> is wild. Hopefully that video helped you for your next weekend getaway. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. See you next time. Yeah.